This is beautiful. Look at what I'm looking at. That is too cool. Hey folks, how are y'all? You're okay, buddy. This is Barry with Fire Nice Outdoor Gear. We're on another adventure with a brand new e-bike. It has been raining for several weeks. We have a flood warning as well. I'm not a hundred what that means on this trail, but I can pretty much guarantee you it's gonna be wet. We're gonna do 66 miles, which is a shorter trip than what we've been doing in the past. This one's gonna be significant because this is called the Virginia Creeper Trail. I'm gonna do it in and out. So it's 33, 34 miles one way and then 33 miles 34 miles on the way back but it's called the creeper trail because of the incline it's actually fairly steep the problem with that is that it's got a lot of weight on here if you've seen that if you notice with the weight and this being an e-bike i really want to see what, what kind of mileage i'll get with this that's my goal is see what this thing can do i'm on a, a venton adventure which is their adventure model it's got the fatter tires dude it's dead of summer it feels great here in virginia I'm nice and cool. If you wanna see the unboxing video, it's I'll put it up here. Yeah, I got a lot of cool stuff on this trip too. I got a brand new hammock from Haven. Uh, it's a hammock or a tent. Super excited to take that. Oh shoot. That was a groundhog or something started running towards me. This looks fairly trafficked. I, I'm gonna pass a couple people. I got a couple more people coming. It's normal when you're near a, a road. As soon as we get in a little bit, we won't see too many people. We should. We're gonna put this on pedal assist too. Hey guys, now let's see how far these batteries will go. I've got the, I got two batteries and I have the Go Sun. Uh, oh, I got new glasses from Umbra. They have the little strings on them and they're polarized. My eyes are hazel. It doesn't like the sun. It just, the sun bothers my eyes. I super love uh, sunglasses and Umbra's reached out to me and said that, you know, they would like to send me some sunglasses. I like them so far. I've been wearing them for about a week. Hey. I'm gonna see how they do on this trip. It's got these little shade, like shade on the side as well. If you like a pair of these or want to are interested in them, I'll put them in the description below. All of my products will be in the description below. But like I said, pedal assist too. I've got this thing decked out with all kinds of stuff. And a lot of this is gonna be all uphill. So super excited to see what this thing can do so I can do much longer trips with it. Let me show you what we're looking at. This is a rail to trail. So this used to be a railroad. I think they, shut it down in 1970 it was much longer the it went through private property and through in north carolina and so the people from north carolina said they uh, want their property back uh, but the virginia side said that they would you we could use it as long as it's maintained there's deer in front of me right here oh they're two does are uh they're fawns you see that i hope you can see oh, come quiet oh, listen There's the baby. Look at this though. I bet this is beautiful in the fall. I don't think there's any caves, but what I understand is there's 47 trellises. So that's cool. We get to see some bridges. We'll be riding a lot right next to the a river. We'll go through Damascus, Virginia, all the way up to White Top, which is the second tallest mountain. Then we'll come back down. And we'll try to do this in two days. I just got on, I just got here at 3 o'clock, calling for rain around 4, and going to rain for about four, two an hour and a half is what it says. No rain tonight, and then we got an 80% chance of rain tomorrow, so it is, we're definitely going to get wet. But it's, like I said, it's August, and I, I mean, it feels great out here. I'm from South Carolina, so this, it's 100% humidity in South Carolina. Here, the lows are going to be like 61. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. The lows of uh, South Carolina is like 91, so it's freaking hot. Super excited to take this bike on these adventures. This is cool. The guys are maintaining the trail for us. Appreciate the hard work. Thank you, brother.
give them some love. You know what I'm talking about? One downside about uh, rail to trails, uh, they are straight. A lot of them, you're not going to do a lot of curves and stuff like that. Pretty much this is what you see for a while. But what makes them neat is when they go beside rivers and they go into tunnels. Those are awesome. My goal is to try to find camp. Damascus, I believe, is about 15 miles from here. Look at the cows. Oh no, those are llamas. I don't know if you saw that or not. They had llamas down there. You're going right next to farms. Beautiful farms, actually. Uh-oh, I heard thunder. But yeah, it's supposed to be calling for rain at four. It's three, three o'clock right now. That's a little early. I can see me being muddy and dirty. I didn't bring a lot of food because there's restaurants here. There's restaurants in Damascus. There's restaurants at White Top, near White Top. On, there's like a diner there. If I time it right, you just eat, which is nice uh, on this trip. But I did bring some oatmeal and, and one dehydrated. I brought some snacks. And if I missed food this entire trip, I'll, I would be fine. I don't think I'll have to because my timing has to be right. Um, and if I mess up, we'll learn together. It's been raining for two weeks. This isn't terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm getting, I'm in it. But uh, on the my last video, the North Bend Trail toward the end, man, that was tough. I mean, big ruts. These guys look like they're running from the cop. You don't run like that in the woods. I'm just saying, mile two right there. Mile two. Are doing a good job. There's a lot of them. Um, if you see that right over there, benches, which is really cool. People can rest. I tell you what, this bike is smooth. The cadence on it, the other bike, the cadence feels just a little bit different. This one, it could be the exact same. Just feels just a little bit different. Uh, there's some more people. Y'all are almost done. What a beautiful trail though. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find a camp, try my new gear out. Super excited about that. You could camp right there, there's a little spot. Um, the, the issue is, look at, like I brought a hammock last last time brought them both times i really like bringing my hammock i thought when you're looking at the doppler there really isn't uh, there's trees everywhere so when you look at it it's like this is fine but look at what i'm dealing with there is an incline over there and if you look over here it goes straight down to water so it really there's not a, a ideal place this wouldn't be bad right here that wouldn't be bad right here so when I was on the North Bend Trail, I was looking for a place to camp and put up my, my hammock. I literally could not find a place. Now, there was trees, but I was on top of like a, a mound. So there was water on both sides and there was trees and there was an incline on both sides, one down and up. And I was actually pedaling at night because I just couldn't find a place to camp. What's cool about this haven, and I'm going to show it to you, but it is a hammock and a tent. So, I mean, if, it's worst case that, scenario i could camp right here on the trail out of the way and let people go by but i could wake up at 5 a.m get some breakfast get back on the trail but uh yeah i just i just couldn't find a place to put my hammock so this i'm really excited to try this out i can't wait for y'all to see it some more people how you doing bud it's definitely different i've never seen anything like it they just got done doing a kickstarter with this is called the haven safari and i'll talk more about it later isn't that pretty Here comes our first bridge. Oh, this is beautiful. Dude, this is nice. Wow. It smells good too. That's cool. Like I said, it's supposed to be like 47 of them or something like that. And I gotta do it twice, so I'm gonna see a couple. Here's my marker three. Right now, our, uh, our battery is 100%, which is awesome. Which is awesome, so the seat feels great. So far, so good. Now three, here comes another bridge. And some people. And goodbye. Hey, buddy. So we got a flood warning, so uh, the water's not going to be that mountain crystal clear 
that you normally see. It's probably going to be a little bit muddy. Some cows. They're going to be passing a lot of farms. There's cows down there. That's cool. The last two trails pretty much had it to myself. This one, which I'm still only three miles. Once you get in about five miles in, what I've noticed so far is there is nobody past there. You don't see anybody up. So you can tell when you get closer to uh, civilization, you start seeing people before you see the, the cars and stuff. Look at that, what a beautiful place. Super pretty. I haven't been sleeping real well. The last two days, I go to bed at 9 and wake up at 12.30. Wide awake. Eat cereal around 2.30. Last night, went to bed around, I think, maybe 11. Woke up at 2.30. So this is good. Get some exercise. I've always been told, if you don't sleep good at night, you're not working hard enough during the day. I'm definitely excited about sleeping and sleeping in the hammock outside. Possibly a little bit of rain, which would be freaking awesome. I'm excited about getting some rest. Enjoy your journey. That's cool. A little bit of water now. Got a nice little breeze. I don't know if you can hear that. These bridges are impressive. Oh crap. Do you see it? I don't think you see it yet. Hold on. Look at that. That's beautiful. The grass is green. The stupid holes that always screw with me, especially with the, the, the trailer. Let's see, maybe they have some room. It looks like I have some room there. And that's my uncle four right here. Yeah, this is okay. Well, okay. Oh, and there's a bathroom. That's awesome. They got a bathroom here. All right, we're okay. So the creeper trail. private property. Yeah, I don't want to mess up this opportunity. How y'all doing? Look at that beautiful home. That's awesome. That's all you need. It's freaking perfect. That is awesome. I love it. What's up, bud? Well, I probably have over and probably a hundred pounds, maybe 75 pounds of gear. Of course, I'm 200. So, this is definitely going to tell us what this bad boy could do. If this loaded down with gear, I'm doing this on purpose. This will, will definitely tell me what this can do, and that'll be the limit right there to how far I could go. So, if I go with lighter gear, and flatter surfaces, I know I can go further because this is going to be, uh, when I start, I think I get, when I get past Damascus, it's going to be straight up. The reason why they call it the Creeper Trail is because the incline is so steep that when the railroad would go up that mountain to White Top, it creeped up. And it was holding trees, U.S. Postal Service mail, and passengers. And it literally went like one or two miles per hour up the mountain. That's that guy's name, the Creeper Trail. So I'm, I'm going to do the hard part first, go up the mountain, and then we'll go down the mountain, and back down to the truck. But yeah, just kind of tell me what the limit is. You know, heavy gear, high climbing, with some altitude. Grade is what it's called, higher grade. It says on their website it can do a certain amount of stuff and real ride time and all this other stuff. What I'm doing to this bike is not like the norm. I'm just pushing it to see how far this can go. The um, the other bikes I've had, they go 30 miles, 27 miles, and that's up in the mountains. Here comes another bridge. Here's a coach. So that's my limit on those bikes is like 30 miles. So something at 60 miles, I'm definitely going to need. I, I can do it. Uh, look at the clouds. Wow. This is pretty. It gets back dark again. Plus, I have the Go Sun, which will charge one of these batteries up to full capacity, so that's basically 90 miles. What are you doing, buddy? Get up in that tree. I don't know if you saw that squirrel jump out. Yeah, this is uh, so far just a beautiful bike. It's got uh, the 
I, I got the front rack and the rear rack, so when I do these longer trips, I'll be able to store stuff. It's starting to sprinkle. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal because I see so many, I see blue skies too, so let's see. Yeah, it's super good though, super nice. Like I said, it's been raining for two weeks. It's not terrible, but this bike has long fenders, which is crazy nice. It's not going to throw that on me. Show you. Look at that. Man, look how deep that is. Can you see that down there? I know it's dark. Beautiful though. I'll tell you what though, if you've not tried this, I've been hiking and kayaking 30 years. I wish I started the YouTube channel sooner, but I'm glad that I did when I did so I could put some energy into it. This is just new. Oh, this used to be a cave. They blew the top off of this one. Yeah, this used to be a cave. Uh, or a tunnel, excuse me. They, they blow the tops off of them because they're worried about them collapsing. They might not be stable, but this was definitely a... A, uh, a tunnel at one time. Oh yeah, getting nasty. Mile five, mile five, and I'm at 99. I, I lost the percent on the battery. They say the temperature is 81 degrees, but it feels it feels great. And you know there's humidity because it's raining, it's sprinkling. It just this is different weather than South Carolina. I think that's where the devil lives. This. See those cornrows? Man, that is pretty. It just opened up. So this is private property. And that's rain right there. You can see. I don't know if you can see that, but it's that's definitely rain. You can see right there too. see it I brought a an extra tarp weird things happen oh this is different okay all right Look at this, what a beautiful place. This is Trussell number seven. Man, going downhill so it's pretty easy. Oh yay, and there's a puddle. That rain, can you see that rain back there? That is coming my way. That is on my back. Look at the cat, they know, they know. But I got to, I gotta make some miles. Don't wanna get wet either. I don't mind getting a little bit wet. Yeah, you see that? 
that is uh, rain and the clouds are coming right over my head so it's 100% gonna rain on me. I'll need to figure out camp in the next maybe hour, 45 minutes or a place to ride it out. Oh look at this. Trussle number eight. Oh, there's some, I must have horses. Some horse poop. Oh, the cow's been up here messing around. It's starting to sprinkle on me. I wonder if there's a place I could ride this out. I have to think of something quickly. Look how pretty this is. This is crazy. See the mountains? Looks like a tree fell on the bridge. Where did that thing come? Oh, it just fell. I get it. Okay. It just fell across. They cut it. for this it started around four. Oh, i didn't tell you this yeah i get there get all my stuff set up you saw that the cool train went by and a cop pulled over and i guess he was just radar and some people or whatever so i go over and ask him you know i want to spend two days out here is it okay that i park my vehicle there for two days and he said you cannot park your vehicle there for two days so oh wow i can hear the rain yeah, you can't park there for overnight. There's a place across the street. I don't know if they'll do it every time. It's called the Creeper Trail Inn. Asked if I could park there and they showed me where I could park. They're not charging me or nothing. So that was cool. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Thank yeah. you. Go ahead, bud. Thank you. So just a heads up that you're not gonna be able to camp there, which kind of sucked a little bit. Or not camp, excuse me. You can't park there. And this is at Albington. That's crazy though. I don't see why you can't stay there. Um, just heads up, I'm getting rained on. I'm getting any. I don't know if you're getting any or not. The rain's not bad enough to get over. Hey, this is another tunnel that they blasted the top out of. Yeah, this used to be a tunnel. Oh, wish they left it. That would have been cool. Oh, there's a turtle. Here comes another bridge. Look at this. That little creek that we were following earlier has gotten bigger. Oh, look. Look at that. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Please keep gate closed. Oh, the gate's broken. That's cool, though. Definitely, we have a, like I said, a flood running. There's a deer to the left. Can you see it? Look at them, they're so cool. Hey guys. I hope you got to see those deer. I had to stop and pull over and get a battery because the battery died. But they were just right here. But look at the clouds. Can you see them moving? They're going that way. And that is the storm right there. Sorry, the battery died. Let's get back on it. Let's get it. And when you stop, it gets, you can kind of feel the humidity kind of got a glare to it. Hopefully that'll go away. Yeah, those were some pretty deer. GoPro ain't the best for stuff like that. But um, my other camera is not very good. It doesn't have a built-in stabilizer. So if I had it on here, it has terrible footage. So it sucks. It's okay. As we go, we'll get better equipment. Take a look. Ninety-seven percent on my my phone on my uh, um on the bike we've been eight miles so, so far so good it's been nice and smooth there's the water again it is rushing 
Can you see that? Look at that. That would be so fun to kayak. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That would take you no time to kayak that. It's like another was a cave at one time. Or I keep saying cave tunnel. Just blew the top off. Denton, thank you so much for the long fenders. I have not gotten much mud or anything on me. I've seen bikers pass me and their legs are covered in mud. Uh -huh. I hope I'll be able to find a campsite near this water. That sound of that water would sound nice to go to sleep too. I think this might be a train station. Yeah, I think this was a train station at one time. Alberta. I could ride it out right there. Uh, there's bathrooms here if you have to go to the bathroom. Bike repair, rail to trail, Hall of Fame. Huh. Let's take a look at it. Alberta station. This is pretty cool. Got a little place to drink some water. Bike repair, place to put your trash, and water. Oh, there it is, right there. Let's see. Whew. Man, I shouldn't be playing around. One person at a time, women's. Smell bad. It says the elevation. Um, okay, so this is where we're at. There's Damascus. Probably want to camp around here somewhere. I don't want to get into Damascus yet. 15. There's the AT. That's cool. Goes right through there. The Appalachian Trail. That's awesome. Look at that water. Listen, there's a puppy. I'll be a bitten. All right. And that's rain right there. It's going that way. Alright. Hey guys. I'm on the road right now. Oh, and it's coming down now. See if we can get out of this. Let's crank this bad boy up a little bit. Get in front of it. If not, we can do a blow drive, which would be nice. Let's try and get in front of this rain. Because it's actually going behind me. Oh, look at that water. It's getting crazy. Hey, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, 22 acres for sale. Look at that. That is some powerful water. Pouring. I'm trying to get back in the 
Lewis. There we go. It's time to go find that grain. It's right behind me. It's going from right to left. In front of it. I think I'm just just in front. Of This is crazy. Blasting zone. Huh. Two-way radios. Turn off two-way radios and cell phones. Look at that. Can you see that? Some road. Huh. Hearing something. Oh, some kind of bridge. That's cool. Huh. Trouble. I got in front of the rain though. So building some kind of highway or something. Got a treatment spot. beautiful trail not super exclusive like when you're out the other trails you're really out in the woods but I mean this is country beautiful place Canadian geese I don't know if you can see them they're in that yard like 30 of them right there private property no trespass it's 4 o'clock been on it for about an hour, but then it in the ice. I always love the smell of the woods. It's crazy. How beautiful it smells. That river, man. The power up there is pretty crazy. It smells like somebody's burning something. Or smell a little bit of smoke. Some kind of auction gallery. And Jesus is there. Antiques. What's up, bad Country cooking. So there's a restaurant around here somewhere. I'm not hungry right now. We're parking. There's some kind of country cooking it. If you were hungry, this would be the spot. You sleep good tonight. That's how it always is though. You get comfortable and you wind up staying up hours. I hope that's not the case for me. You sleep good. Looks like a sawmill. Sawmill lumber over there. Looking at the weather behind me, you see it's all broken up now. Only thing I'm worried about, I guess, is that right there. It's got a little bit of rain. That's really about it. I haven't had a chance to look at my phone. Boom. 71%. I did gas it a little bit, so I get in front of that, that rain. That could definitely kill a battery. All right, we are back in the woods. That didn't take very long. That's a pretty open area right there. Look at that. Look at that water. 
kill yourself. Wow. Look at that. I know I keep saying it. It's just impressive, that's all. It is just moving. I want to come back with the boat. <laughs> you know how fast we would be moving on that thing? I'm not super familiar with white water, so I've never done it. I've done like some class one, class two, and that's, I'm not about to sound weird what I'm about to say, but it was in Florida. Florida actually has think, class four, but it's up north. Yeah, it's uh, I did some class twos, and all you got to do is just make sure you don't hit any rock. Pretty simple. Huh. Seen that building over here beside me. It's all ran down. Probably had something to do with the train. It's got these little trash cans all the way down it, which is super awesome. What does that say? Oh, let your bike run us. I think I got a sign for the rent bikes up there. That's what I'm talking about. Get your hustle on, guys. Just the sound of that water sounds beautiful. My shirt's starting to dry out. I hope you can hear that. Mile marker 15. I wonder what the fish are doing when it's like that. Huh. It says, in memory of Mary, honor of Tommy, trail ride to the end of cancer. People that died of cancer. See that? Beautiful house. Oh, are we in Virginia? We should be. Look at the water. Oh, that's definitely hot. I guess this is Damascus, Virginia. Sorry for the brakes. Sixty percent. All right, this is going to be a dangerous crossing. Slow down a little bit. Back in. Let's see here. Come on. Come on. Right. I don't hear thunder. So. I come here every year to sell my products at, uh, in Damascus and I usually have my, my tent right over here. It's just so cool to be here. But yeah, I, uh, I set up right over there to sell my products. This water, man, look at that. Huh. And uh, there's a really good restaurant here called, what is it called? Oh, Damascus Diner. It supposedly has good cheesesteaks, but I've never eaten. Uh, never eaten. Because every time I'm here, they're on a limited menu. Yeah, super familiar with this spot. Let's go over to the diner. Let's see when they close. I'm gonna kill myself. The pharmacy. It smells good. What time do they close? To open? What's today? It's a Thursday. Eight to eight. That's cool. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find a place to camp outside of here and then ride the bike up here. That would be cool. Let's set this up. Let's turn it around. Let's go. Let's find us a camp spot outside of town. Then we'll go here. Diner. And they got breakfast too, which is pretty awesome. So I'm at 50% and this is mile marker 16. It's a little bit wet of a trail here. What time is it? 4.15. Sorry for the bumpiness. I need to get out of town a little bit so I'm not having to deal with people. These are really neat at night. They light up. They light up the uh, bridges. Look at that. 
this is where you can rent bikes. You can park your vehicle here and they'll take you up to the top of it. Well, they'll take you anywhere. There's a restaurant there too. Did I get dirty? They're rinsing themselves off. Hey guys, hey don't go. behind you, buddy. Look at that. Is that water? That's the AT right there. Appalachian Trail. You see that? That's when you come down it, you can get water right there, which is really cool. It's usually just a trip of that thing is flowing. Let's see if we can find us a camp spot. Just want to be away from this road, but maybe near that water would be cool. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but I wanted you to see it. Keep right on trail. Oh Lord, look at this. That, are you seeing this? Look at that. Can I make it? Look at that. That's crazy. That's too cool. And my feet got soaked. <laughs> That's okay, though. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Get up that hill. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That was me. I'm glad I turned on the camera. I wasn't hundred on what was going on. But we were going down below the bridge. This is like a river here. Do you see the water? How you doing, bud? Man, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is literally flooded. I guess I need to get over here. A little bit higher. This is a river. Okay, it looks like it might be over up here. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that's over with. Wow. This is crazy. It's awesome. I love it. A little concern, there's water on the left of me. Too. See all that? That's water. This is water. That's water. That's water. I wonder if there is a camp spot. I'm sure there is. Well, we're going uphill, so push from the shove. All this is slowed down a little bit. 
get in this uh, this drink. You know what I'm talking about? Getting in this drink. Yeah, we go. Yeah, this is a. Uh, so we're going uphill. So eventually, it's gonna dry up somehow. I think we had two to soak. <laughs> that was crazy cool. Going into that bridge. Let's see, can I get over here at that time? Come on, come on. Nothing crazy. That's 1.5 miles. <laughs> I'm gonna show that to you when we get, come back. We're we'll going to that diner. Look at this. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, come on. Come on, don't die. Don't die. All right, I almost died there. Yeah, this is awesome sauce. Now I brought my Yobo stand. Oh man, this is beautiful. Look at this. I brought my Yobo stand so I don't need trees. I'm prepared for whatever this thing throws at me. I don't need trees. I have my, I brought my own trees with the elbow stand. See the fog? Man. Wow. Hey, coming through, more people. Let's try not to kill each other. Hey guys, look at that. The fog is freaking awesome on this water. See that? Look at this, that's cool. Oh, don't die, don't die. Well, let's look through. I love it. We're up in the Appalachian. Still got people around. Let me look at this spot real quick. Oh, no trespassing. Why do they put this here? Look at that water though. Oh man, no, it says no trespassing. You see that? So, let's turn around. Get back on the trail. Thought I might have found the place, but I didn't. This is cool. Look at the water. I think I found a place. I wonder if that's okay to camp there. Let's turn around real quick. Found a, a spot that's got a little bit of a trail and it's high, which is much better than the campsite I had before. You see this? That's somebody's walk there. I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but that's a trail right up there. I don't know if my bike is all this weight. Yeah, I definitely could. No, I don't want to do it. All right, let's just keep going. It's an idea, but I'm not sure we're not killing it. There's freaking water is everywhere. There we go. Come on. Back in the game. Ton of cyclists. Hey guys. Ton of cyclists. Downside of having a helmet on me. Head itches. That sucks. Get in my head here. Taking off the helmet. Just a second. Scratching my head. Bad boy back on. This I'm a, a little bit dangerous. Look at the fog. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Super cool. That bridge is getting beaten. Number 20. There's all the the wood 
the railroad, the river on both sides. There's colors too. Like I'm, I'm not sure, but you see the fog? See the water over there? And then water over there? I'm like in water right now. Look at that. Look at the water coming off the, uh, the mountain. Look. Come on, come on, come on. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. People are already soaked. Just down a little water. Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, God, it's slippery. This is beautiful, super enjoying this. I gotta tell you, I've never seen anything like it too. So like I said at the beginning though, it's been, been raining for uh, two weeks straight. It's raining a day several times on the way up here, about a five hour drive here. Got 80% chance of rain tomorrow and thunderstorms. Just looking for a campsite now. Looking for a campsite. Almost don't wanna turn the camera off because every turn has been something crazy. Water is powerful. Hey folks. How you doing? I gotta show you something. I can just feel the power. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Hear the like the pounding of the water. So I wanted to turn on the turn it on and show you guys. Looks like I got a, another trussle coming up. I'm not drinking a lot of water. All right, because every corner has been an adventure. Oh man, that's pretty awesome. It's a neat little bridge. curious to like things like this right here. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Let me just get off to the side. Because I can camp really anywhere. I got I got my Yobo get stand turn this off. We're down to nine. This is probably where people fish. I wish I could camp here though. I mean I could with the Yobo stand. Look at this. It's beautiful. Kind of walking it, see what, what's going on. I'd sleep so good if I could camp here. Wow, that is beautiful. This probably goes all the way to the bridge, that place I just passed. Let's see, does this open up? Oh, dude, please say that it opens up. Oh, it's right here at the bridge. Dang it. There's the bike right there. Well, I mean, that is a beautiful place. I could definitely camp there with the Yobo stand. Let me look at my phone. I have the Rail to Trail app. Let's see if they say if there's any campsites where I'm... They got, like, waypoints and stuff before I uh, make a decision. There might be a freaking sweet campsite or something up here. Look at that. And the, the moisture. So, it looks like we're about 14 more miles to the end. We're at a 3% grade. So, how y'all doing? You got, well, till when? We got 19 miles to the end, but uh, are you going to Damascus? Yeah. Oh, you got three more miles, you're done. Yeah. There's actually a sign that says 1.5 miles in, to, uh, to the restaurant, Damascus restaurant. Okay. So you ain't far. Are you there any campsites going that way? Yeah. 
I think we should camp here, honestly. All right, let's do that. You hear that thunder? It's gonna be weird. The reason why it's weird is because I, I just did a video of uh, where I got flooded out. This is a 14 mile. So how far would I have tomorrow to go? Hold on, let's look real quick. 14 miles tomorrow. So 14 plus 33 equals, so 47. 47 divided by, on average about, take about four hours. Dang it. This would be a great spot to camp, but I would have a long ride tomorrow. What time is it? Five o'clock? And heads up, there's no signal past Damascus. <laughs> this would be a great spot, but tomorrow I'd have almost 60 miles, 47 miles. Yeah, because I did, I'm at 20 miles right now, minus at 33, 66, so 47 miles tomorrow. All right, let's just keep moving forward. I'm gonna put these glasses in my pocket right here. I like these, it's just got these strings and it's like scratch proof and smudge proof and all the other stuff, blah, blah, blah. This would've been a great place. I got the Yobo gear, or Yobo stand. I could camp right there. It's okay, it's all right. Let's turn the power back on. God, it smells so good out here. All right, let's go. Let's do pedal assist two. What's up, buddy? A lot of cyclists trying to think of, should I go to White Top and come back down? or just find a campsite and try to get miles tomorrow. I got an 80% chance of rain tomorrow, so probably try to get some miles in today. So a little trail right here. It's got a sign that says no trespass. There's the 20 mile marker. That would have been a cool spot. I might can make it down and back. So I got 14 miles, 27 miles. It don't get dark until about nine. Let's just keep hustling. Don't want to get too close to the water because yeah, I got in trouble last time doing that. I don't want to do that again. That shortened my trip, which sucks. Wow, that's crazy. Look at that. That is insane. And I don't know, maybe the water's changing the temperature of the air, but it's got this moisture on top of that. Kind of got a cool chill to it. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. That's a beautiful cabin. Yeah, it gets a little sloppy. Sloppy Joe's, sloppy, sloppy Joe's. Got 15%. It seems like they're all pretty much the same with the weight that I carry that I'm gonna get. I think they all do about 27 miles. That's with weight, my weight, everything that I've done has been in the mountains. I think this is gonna be something. 25, 35. We're right now at 20 miles with this battery. I might, because I'm at 15%, let me show you. If you look at the very bottom, started at 25 miles and it says 46 there. I got 15% battery left so we should we should get about 30 miles because and as you're pedaling you get these different stats about trees or beaver dams looks like parking right here oh in a bathroom oh you can camp here if you wanted to i think there's there's a fire pit over there yeah and there's some chairs you could find, you could camp here I'll tell you what there's some probably some trout in this water though crazy all right don't don't be don't be crazy here we go oh there's a campsite right there there's several campsites right here there is a fishing campsite right there yeah yeah we'll be all right yeah there's several campsites i'm seeing it's good because it's on the other side of the water let's get to white top and then come back down we can go we'll probably miss dinner which is okay It was like raining again. Wow. Look at this. I'm trying not to kill myself in this sloppy joke. So we are, I think, officially dead. It made it 21 miles. Lithium batteries don't normally, they don't die completely. If you leave them alone for a second, they'll be, they'll bounce back. Eventually, it just gets less and less. But I think 21, uh, 21, 2, 4, 6. We're gonna be pushing it, man, to the end. So I got the go sun, but I didn't bring the solar panel. Look at this. And you see that 25, that's the 25th trussel, not the 25th mile. Uh, Cool. See that? 
They actually got cables on it back there. Hold on, this is gonna be crazy. Let me put this on here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they have cables, so if the bridge does fall off, it won't go down river and that's crazy or whatever. All right, we are officially dead. Just fine. Get a little blue light. Just tap it. And then you'll just tap this right here on the side. It'll be just fine. It's 5 o'clock in the game. There's a campsite right there. They even left your fireplace. Huh. Firewood. Just like that. There it goes. I love the sound of that water. Uh, marker 22. Just a absolute beautiful ride. This is definitely our normal day. We got a warning saying that there was flood advisory. I could only imagine these are, this is just a stream. I got a little chill, man. That is crazy. What's the temperature? I don't think I have signal. It says 75, but I don't think, yeah, I don't have any signal. So I don't, I don't really know what the temperature is, but that cold water. And I'm wet. Well, I'm drying. So I got rained on. I've done this before and it didn't go well. Let's see. Okay, that's it. There's bathroom there. That's cool. All right, what is this? Huh. charging the other one. Whatever happens, if this one dies, we are, that's where we're at until the other one charges. This is crazy. cafe or something. It looks like it's open. But apple tree. I'm glad I got these fat tires. They'll be all over the place. Huh. Nice. Parked right on the rail to trail. That train, if I was the train, I took his life. It's a pretty trail. Look at that. Another campsite right there. Oh, there's plenty of campsites down here. It's mostly on this side of Damascus, into White Mountain. The other side, I didn't really see any. I've seen quite a few of them. Pretty designated, as in had fire pits, the trails to it. Oh, there's one right there. You see those cables? 24, got nine more miles to the top. Be there less than an hour, maybe 45 minutes, 5.30. You could tell that we're going uphill. I, I didn't bring my bike computer. I don't necessarily need it. Hey, that will tell me the temperature and, oh, look at that. There's a campsite. Can you see the top of there? Right there. They tell me the grade and the temperature of where I'm going, turn left, turn right. You don't really need it when it's like a rail to trail because it's pretty self-explanatory. Up back. Sometimes you meet the weirdest people on the trail. About nine times out of ten, there everybody's like sweet, but then you get this, this I guess, extremely introvert person. 
really does a lot of help getting the bike crisscrossing this river. Part of the game. Should have brought a towel. See, there's a campsite right there. That's like number ten uh, on this side of Damascus. I've never experienced anything like this. This is crazy. This is in the middle of nowhere, and there's a path for bikes and hikers. Got yeah, maybe 30 more minutes before the sun goes behind the mountain. Doesn't mean it gets dark. It's just no more sunlight. It's dark faster up here in the mountain. Just that we're here in the valley. fishing or whatever. Yeah. Once you get past Damascus, you're in good shape for a campsite. The Appalachian Trail goes that way. Yeah. Huh. The AT actually jumped on here for a minute and then jumped off right there. I did not know that. You can hear the water, but you can't see it. We're on top of the trees up here. Oh, that was cool. I was on the AT with my bike for a little bit. This used to be a tunnel. Look at that. Definitely cool. And we are on mile marker 27. Six more miles. We'll be there. 20 minutes dodging the water. I have a feeling it's gonna be nice and cool tonight. I got a 50 degree quilt. I should be just fine. Pretty good incline. A lot of these places just going up this hill. I probably won't have to pedal that much coming down this thing. Now this stretch here you have a campsite. It's just not. We got a mountain on the side of you. The river. We are getting close. I think we're like two miles to the top of this mountain. But I wanted to show you, look at our river that is getting tiny. This battery is at 61% and this whole trip is 33 miles. Going up this mountain is killing this battery. I think we're in like private property now. We've got all these farmland beside us. I've seen some deer, but they're so far away that the GoPro would have picked it up. Oh, we got some people behind you guys. No, you're fine. You okay, Laura Beth? I'm gonna go on this side. Yep, you know, not far. You can tell because there's people catching up with this kid. Right behind you, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, you can tell this is hard. This is probably seven or eight percent grade going up this thing. Yeah, I'm killing this battery. Uh, but I gotta come down it, so there's mile marker 30, three more miles. Looks like I'm going through a little town. There's a bathroom right there on the trail. I guess this is a train station. The mountains over there are pretty. I highly recommend this. This is cool. A little bit more commercialized than uh, the other two. That's not a bad thing. 
either. You can eat, you get ice cream and coffee. Like you still camp out here. Good food. I gotta tell you, this seat is now hurting my butt. I got a, a better seat at the house, but I wanted to use this one because it didn't feel bad getting in the, in the mirror. It's just number 31. Seat's cut a little bit. Here's another tunnel. I think they blew the top off of uh, Marker 31. Yeah, man, this is uphill. On the way back, I don't think I need the, the battery at all on this part of it. It was bad I'm doing this now. It was straight up. Two more miles, will be at the end. I just passed a mile marker saying that was 33 miles. I must be getting close, not 100. But I think this is like 33.1 or something. This bad boy is just uphill the whole time. It's killing my battery. I'm almost at 50% right now. We changed it. So basically 13 miles. Look what I'm looking at. Mountain Laurel. Let's see what this sign says. Like to call. Okay, just saying you passed them. Uh, another person to show you warn them. If I had my bike computer, I could see what the grade is. I know it's no, it's steep. I feel like we're almost at the end. Here comes a stop sign up here. It's probably the end right up here. Oh uh, yes. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bike tracks right here. Come on, come on. Creeper Trail, White Top. There it is. I wonder if this keeps going. Like, what is it doing? It's Christmas tree farms. Yeah, good job, little buddy. I guess these are Christmas tree farms. Let's turn this off. <laughs> 34, 37. It's okay. We'll be uh, going downhill. You are here. Definitely cool. I am freaking thirsty. Oh, what? Hold on. Oh, there's a rabbit. Is there power here? No way. I wonder if it works. Oh, there's some rain clouds over there. What time is it? 6.15. And we'll walk it. That would be cool if this thing had power. Look at this thing. Nasty. Um, let's see. Let's grab this. Let's see if it's got some power. You got power? Freaking does. Okay. Let's put you on right here. Is it red? Freaking is. That's awesome. All right. Well, let's get some snacks. I'll take this over here. Grab a bottle of water. <laughs> That's too cool. We'll let it charge for like an hour. It takes four hours to fully charge, but it's at 40 percent. You notice they have a different helmet. With e-bikes, they can go up to 25, 30 miles per hour. Regular helmets are great for bicycles. But with e-bikes, they go faster. And there's a rabbit right over there. Can't show it to you because he's too far away, but because of their speed, you want a, a helmet that's rated for the speed that you're going, just to keep your head safe. And so this company here is freaking awesome. I'll put a link in the description. If you do ride an e-bike, you would want to consider getting a helmet that is e-bike rated because of the speed that you'll be going. Now this company here, I've talked about them before. Have you ever heard of Backcountry Fuel Box? I gotta tell you, I love this company. The reason why, what they do, and this is the May, the May one, what they do is they find cottage vendors that are interested in getting into backpacking supplements and different stuff like that, food. And they put it all in one box and then you get this little card. It tells you everything that's in the box and then you get discounts, 20% off, 10% off, and all that other stuff. And I've got cookies, electrolyte, chewies, uh, chocolate chip cookies, double chocolate brownie. These are all great, full of calories wafer beef jerky this box is cheap which is crazy peanut butter and dark chocolate little nuggets uh, some more energy chews i'm gonna need those powders energy powders for your drinks two protein bars all inside this box and if you like these you can just reach out to that company and just order it and get 10 percent off 20 percent off so on and so forth mountain berry that oh, smells good be a little energy must save one of mine for coffee two of them in there this is a big cup this is called tiger blood 
That's what I'm talking about. I'm mixing the two together for a suicide. Look at that. Let's try this jerky. Damn, my mouth is freaking watering. Mmm. Wild boar. It's not bad. It's just a little chew at the beginning. Kind of throws you off. He was good though. Just gotta, gotta work it. Let that charge for an hour and uh, we'll be back. I have an idea. It's only been, it's 6.45. Uh, we still got, I guess 30 minutes, 45 minutes. But I'm gonna get my chair out, man. I am so tired sitting on something hard. I'm gonna get this chair out and enjoy something, sitting on something soft. It's my backpacking chair. Super lightweight, not much to it. Not as comfortable as my big, my bigger chair. Normally take that one with me because it's a high back. It's just softer than sitting on that hard bed. And that seat's starting to bother me as you're pedaling, butts rubbing back and forth. It's not that the seat is uncomfortable over time. It just, it starts to become harder on your butt. And my legs, look at that. Looks nasty. Feet are soaking wet. Look at the birds. It is so nice. It's super cool. Remember I told you I ain't got any sleep since 2.30 uh, this morning? Well, that hasn't changed. I'm feeling it right now. We got 32 minutes until I'm ready to pull the trigger on that. Hey. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Resting. This is good. I think it's the tiger blood that makes it taste so good. I told you earlier that I had two, like 20 more minutes for the uh, sun to go over the mountain. That's when I was in the valley. Now we're on top of uh, White Mountain, which is the second tallest mountain in West Virginia. So now we're on the top, the sun's out. So when we get down where the water's at again, it'll be dark. 7.15, doesn't get dark. Where I'm from, till like almost nine. I'll pack all this up about 7.45 and start heading down the mountain. Should be pretty quick, cause that grade pretty steep. That's why they call it the Creeper Trail. It's just so cool. It's insane, cause if this was South Carolina, it'd be pouring sweat and miserable right now. It's crazy. The difference in the weather, you know, five hours north. Oh my, probably just, that's my eyes here. Hopefully nobody takes my bike or anything. That would suck. A long walk home to the truck. Oh, they'd have my keys to the truck and everything. It'd be a nightmare. Somebody took my vehicle or took my bike. I better sleep with one eye open. It's 7.45. Been at it for an hour. Got some tiger blood in me now. I guess it's time to pack up and go down that hill and find us a camp spot. We're gonna miss dinner with uh, Damascus Diner, but uh, that's okay. We'll have some breakfast with them tomorrow. Let's see how many miles we'll get before dark. Can you see that right there? 64%, so that's not bad. Maybe I can get some signal, see what the weather will look like. There's people that live out here too. No signal? Maybe that's something. Give them signal, I'm sure. It is almost eight o'clock. All right, let's put it on pedal assist too, but I probably probably don't even need it. Oh, Barry, I uh, pushed the button on accident. Get anything we're heading back appreciate the electricity time to get off this mountain to find camp there we go all right next five miles is private property going downhill now <laughs> it's crazy it's moving now Hey, what though? I cannot wait to set up camp. I'm going 17 miles per hour. <laughs> I'm not using the battery. I'm taking it off. I'm just pedaling. Really, probably don't even need a pedal. Look at the sun. I'm just trying to get some miles. Look how free that is. Set. I just saw the bug, four pointer, a two by two. You should see some deer it's starting to get that time of day. It's a really cool ride. I see why people will go from the top. Sorry for the bump. I'm gonna get some slime. Oh, that's a jump off. Oh, that's nice. 
definitely improved. I should start picking my pants out. Like that one would be fine. I think there's one more. I don't really know what I'm waiting on. I seem to do that. Wait like the last minute to find the campsite. There is plenty of campsites though for sure. Just not any past Damascus going to Abington. Man, I'm putting up a new hammock. That's gonna be a challenge. It'll just take me a little bit of time. Never put it up before. A little bit nasty and soupy. There we go. Don't act crazy, don't act crazy. Look at that. Crazy, pretty. It's just a pretty good It's a little hard to see. I can see the trail. I just can't see like if there was a campsite or something or not. I know there's quite a few up here. I mean, there's a campsite. Looking for a campsite, please. Na, 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 na. Oh, the uh, lightning bugs are out. I'm moving the camera because that's the hit my, where my head is going too. So, seeing if we see something together. Super cool. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Turn it back. Let me show you around. So I don't know if it's going to rain tonight or not. I don't have signal. I do see stars. I did see some lightning over there, like flash. But it's 80% chance of rain tomorrow. What I did was put a tarp up just to protect this stuff. And this is my hammock. I tied one of the strings to right there. You see that? To the little toggle here. Got these tied down on toggles. Came with this thing. I think there's a name for it. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it right here. But yeah, this thing's awesome. I got a little mat so I can take my shoes off and be clean. Let's open it up. Yeah, let's take a look. It's got pockets, six pockets, three on this side, three on the other side. Air mattress. You can leave from both sides. It zips from either side. My sunglasses in here. And if you see this, 
right here you actually can tighten this and it will actually incline to make your make you sit up which is really cool and this is all waterproof and the sides are waterproof so if it rained from inside this is a vent so there's no moisture or very little moisture this is cool i did a porch mode i'll show you more tomorrow it's just dark it is 10 o'clock now that's it man listen to this that's crazy I'm gonna sleep so good there's a fire pit here but it's been raining for two weeks and I could probably get a fire going but I don't really need one well, let's get in the bed it's 10 o'clock you see the bars that I put up I guess can you see that right there I got my socks hanging over there to dry I brought extra socks as well but if they're dry I'll put those on until I get to the truck and put on dry socks to drive home but here to try out this new hammock get some sleep hopefully everything will be safe in the morning I'll talk to y'all in the morning bye guys